Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my off-grid studio, getting my kicks on Route 66 with another explication request. Uh, this is Kaplan, QID 152-5217. Uh, it's a 65 request, but I'll also put in the 66 practice question uh, playlist as well because you can see it on both exams. Uh, if you don't have a Kaplan QBank, I highly recommend it as a paid supplement. You can get a 15% discount at checkout with my Guru 15 discount code. Uh, for that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look at content like this. So you can just send me the QID and I can bring it up uh, backstage. If it's some other vendor, I'll certainly help you, but you need to cut and paste it. All right, let's look at this one. An agent is analyzing the financial statements of a corporation. The company has cash on hand of 2 million accounts receivable of 500,000 Accounts payable, 700000 land value of $3 million, wages payable of 300000 goodwill of 100 inventory of a million and a half, retained earnings of $5 million. From this information, the agent would determine that the asset test ratio is. So on both the 65 and 66, you're held accountable for liquidity ratios. There are two that you're held accountable for ratios. You should definitely know working capital, but that's not a ratio. That's just simple arithmetic. Uh, the current ratio is current assets divided by current liabilities. And a lot of times it'd just be recognition, what best describes the current ratio or current assets divided by current liabilities can best be described as, and you go with current ratio. Or in this case, what best describes the asset test ratio, quick assets divided by uh, current liabilities, or Quick assets divided by current liabilities, it can best describe. So it's mainly recognition. But every once in a while you get something like this. And I like this because on debrief, people t tell me they do get questions where it's not a clean looking kind of balance sheet, where they try and do a Jedi mind trick with you on giving you lots of stuff from the balance sheet that has nothing to do with answering the question you're being asked. So let's go through this one. Let's explicate this question and look at what it's uh, saying here. Okay, well, the first thing we have to know is what are quick assets? Because the acid test ratio is the quick assets divided by the current liability. Sometimes we call it the quick ratio as well as the acid test. What will they call it on your 65, 66 exam, whatever you're not prepared for? All right, so now let's go look for the current assets here. We got $2 million in cash. Current assets are cash or things we plan to turn to cash within 12 months. We've got 500000 in accounts receivable. I certainly plan on turning that to cash within 12 months. We have inventory of one and a half million. Okay, so the land valued at three million is an asset, but that's a fixed asset or long-term asset, right? And goodwill is a fixed, or I shouldn't say fixed, but it's a uh, long-term asset. It's not something we can turn to cash within 12 months, right? All right, so now we have, uh, we add that up, we get four million. Okay, so now we got to find uh, the inventory. We're going to back that out of there. Boom. So now we have our quick assets. Okay, now we got to find our current liabilities. Okay, so there's our formula, right? We're going to take the quick assets and we're going to divide by the current liabilities. We got that. So now we got to find the current liabilities. All right, so let's see. We've got 700000 in accounts payable. We need to pay that within the next 12 months. Uh, we have wages of three hundred thousand. We're certainly going to have to pay our employees, so that's a million. Retained earnings is shareholder equity. It, it isn't a uh, liability. That's you know assets minus liabilities equals net worth, known as retained earnings. Well, I should say shareholder equity, and shareholder equity does include the retained earnings. So that has nothing to do with answering the question. So now we're back in business. Boom! The answer is two and a half to one. We have. Two and a half dollars in quick assets for every dollar we have in current liabilities. So that's what that means. Sometimes we would express that as 2.5 with a semicolon, meaning two and a half uh, to one. So again, I would be prepared to recognize and do practical application on working capital, current ratio, acid test ratio, and uh, I would also do be able to do debt to total capitalization. I will link in the video description. Uh, to a balance sheet financial statement lecture I have for you. And you can check that out if you need some more work on uh, balance sheets. Uh, remember, inch by inch, your 65, 66 is a cent, yard by yard. 
Your 6566 is hard. If you have an explication request, send it to explicationrequest at guruexamprep.com. Bye-bye.